everybody and welcome back to Dusty Coloring. If you're new to the channel, hello and welcome. Thanks for spending time today. So, today's video. Alright guys, today's video is going to be a little chatty. And it's going to be uh, my unhauling video. That's right. I am unhauling coloring books. It is time. I have been coloring since 2020. We're approaching three and a half to four years of coloring and I have never decluttered my coloring book stash. I uh, have a craft space now. It also doubles as my little personal lounge area for myself. So it is not a fully functional craft room. Um, therefore, I am limited on space for my craft supplies. And since I am still collecting, and I'm hoping Santa got me a whole bunch of presents for Christmas of other crafty things I was looking for, um, I need to start making room because I'm going to continue collecting and it's time. Also, every year or so, you know, I don't know, I find it like every year my coloring style changes um, what I like to use, what I like to color. And I feel like if I haven't really colored more than two pages in a book and I've had it for, I don't know, like one to th two to three years, um... Um, it's time for it to be unstashed. So today's video is two shelves worth of coloring books. Not that many, but it just may be a little bit of a long video. So, you know, get comfortable or however, uh, or maybe come back to this video when you're, you know, in bed, ready to relax or having a snack or whatever. Um, I'm going to explain to you guys why I had purchased it and why I'm no longer keeping it. And as far as what I'm doing with them. I do have friends and family who are fellow hobbyists. I have reached out to them. They will come and check out my stash, take whichever they would like, and then I am going to donate the rest. Or, well, I am going to donate most of them, but there are some books which are a little hard to get now. So I've decided that maybe uh, those books, some of them may be used, like I said, minimally used. Um, I might do a giveaway. So if you're interested in that, um, I ask that you subscribe and hit the bell button so that you are notified when I post a video and you can see if it is that particular giveaway video. Now, I don't know what books would be in that video. I still am going through my supply. I'm not 100% sure when I would even post that video, if it would be before the holidays or after the new year. Um, when I say after the new year, I mean in January. Uh, and there may be supplies included, and I may be doing other videos too. So I'm still trying to work out all those kinks, um, but there will be a giveaway video coming up, and then the rules will be in that video. But I can tell you, and I do apologize, I am only going to be shipping to the US. Um, these are books I want people to enjoy. I want people to color in, and that's the whole purpose of a giveaway. Um, so I'm not looking for anything for them, and um, shipping anywhere else would be a little bit tough for me. So with that being said, um, let's dive in so I can get started, show you guys the books I'm no longer keeping, why I've decided I don't want them. Some books are popular um, and it's, it's going to seem a little odd that I'm not a fan, um, but it is what it is. My style has changed and probably will continue to change. Um, so yeah, this is my coloring journal for 2024. I am in the process of doing it. Um, it is by all no means a fancy journal. I'm not a journalist. I don't have time for that. <laughs> um, it's just for me to keep track going forward. Um, but it's taken up a lot of my time and I want to start my holiday coloring. So anyway, get that out of the way. That's for another video. All right. So two of the books I am unhauling are by Lacey, are Lacey Sunshine books by Heather Valentin. I know this is a lot of people love her books and I'm going to say when I watch videos of people hauling these books or showing their completed pages I am so inspired and I want to actually purchase all of them but the reality is once I get them I'm not coloring in them I don't know why I think I want to love them more than I do or I just love other people's enthusiasm to them <laughs> um but for me yeah, it's it's not it's it's a pass. So, I have two of her books. Um, the first one I will be on hauling is um, the Hocus Pocus Coloring Book Volume Forty Two, 
And this one is 100% untouched. There are some super cute images in here, but I'm not getting to them. And if you know me, you know I am a huge Halloween fan. Um, this is so random. Um, but I never colored in this book. I've had it for quite some time. And yeah, I'm just... So this book will be unhauled. Now, I am unhauling them. If there's a full flip through of anything you want to see, please pop it in the comments ASAP. And I will be happy to do a full flip in case you want the book. I don't know. Um, the next one I am that's going is her Sunshine Hobo coloring book. Again, Lacey Sunshine, Heather Valentin. This is used. I colored one page in this book. Um, the back you get three grayscale images and a sneak peek at another book. Um, they're so cute, right guys? Like, look, I'm not, these are adorable, but I just don't want to color in them. I don't want to color. And I did color one. I colored the, this hobo right here. And I think he came out adorable. I think it's adorable. I used Prismacolor pencils. I used pan pastel background. This was way before I even knew what an alcohol marker was. Um, knowing now what I didn't know then, I would base an alcohol marker. Um, but knowing now what I didn't know then, I still don't want to color in this book. So... That'd be cute for the holidays. All right. But yeah, so this one is going. All right, next. We have Dominion of Giants. This one is Behemoths of the Fantasy World. I didn't make that up. That's what it says. And it is by Eric Messenger. So I'll show you guys. This is who it's by. And this is untouched coloring books. So what we have here, you have some colorings. They show you some coloring inspiration, I believe. And you're getting this kind of image and you're getting a little bit of an excerpt on that page. They kind of remind me of gaming characters. Like if you game like World of Warcraft or any of those gaming things. My husband's a big gamer. That's why I said that. Um, these kind of characters remind me as such. I don't know. Maybe they are from a game. I don't know. I just was kind of into this kind of stuff. Um, but it didn't last very long. <clears throat> you even get on some of these pages... <laughs> Excuse me. Um, they give you some colors down here. They give you a little picture of it semi-completed. Like, you know, like coloring, sorry, in the shadow. Um, and then, sorry, there seems to be like a shadow. Let me see if I can get rid of that. Nope. Oh, whatever. Sorry, guys, I can't really get rid of the shadow. Um, so, you know, the other ones didn't have that. But then they give you some inspirational ideas. You can use these colors to color this page. That's one thing that I had liked about the book. Um, yeah, so. I have no desire to color in this book. I get like a little image there. Get some completed here. Um, they are single-sided in the fact that the words or a little excerpt is on here. Um, so you can use alcohol markers if you wanted. Yeah. Coloring face with markers. Well, that's pretty interesting. That I may take a snapshot of for myself. Cause, but otherwise, this book is just not, never colored in and it will be going. Uh, another book by Eric Messenger. This fantasy adventure. So it's kind of along the same lines as that. You get some colored page excerpts in the back. And it's pretty much like a fantasy book. Again, same kind of characters and art style. And some of the pages do include the color key at the bottom. And then you get some of the pages like that. Yeah. 
and a color wheel. Now these pages are like magazine pages. They're very, it's a very nice book. But I'm just not coloring in it, so. Um, now we have a book along the same lines, but this is Chet Minton. Now I happen to like Chet Minton's work. This is Dark Forest. Um, but he also has an Etsy shop and I would just purchase PDFs of the images that I like instead. And um, even though I do enjoy his artwork, I'm not coloring in this book. It's just taking room up on my shelf. And again, like I said, I can just go on his Etsy shop and purchase a PDF if anything tickles my fancy. So yeah, that one will be going. Next up is Marlon Tunison's Dreamy Chibis Coloring Book. Beautiful book, matte cover. But, and I, I do enjoy coloring chibis. Um, I enjoy coloring them for quick, easy colorings. But uh, this book, I don't know. I'm just not, it's not doing it for me. I have other chibi books that are more colored in. And I just can't see myself coloring in this book. So this one will be going. Um, I have another one by him. And I was really all up into this book when I saw it. I was like, oh, I can't wait to color in it. This is actually not too old in my stash. I think I want to say maybe a year and a half. Um, but I don't want to color in it. Um, <laughs> it's Wings and Fins by Marlon Tunison. And there's just, I don't know, I, do, I don't, the images are not enticing me at all. It's not, I like the concept and, you know, you have your mermaids and then you have, I guess, your wings. Um, the fairies and stuff, but I'm not in fairies and maybe angels because they have wings. It's just not. It's uncolored, it's gonna stay uncolored. It's time for it to go. So that is Wings and Fins by Marlon Tennyson. Next one is Victorian Chibi by Domita Victoria. And this is book has double images. This is grayscale, grayscale double images. You have um, back of the page is black. You get section one and section two. I believe, are they doubles? Yes, they're double images. So we just said that on the front. I just said that. <laughs> Tell them. Yeah. So it's very cute if you're into the whole chibi thing like I am or um, not chibi, whatever, drawing a blank. But. So I am unstashing this one. Next up is Creepy Cuties, manga coloring book. Just got this book recently. Look, I even have a washi tape on it to indicate it's got some spooky coloring in it for Halloween. I'm going to take that off because I am not keeping this book. Oh, look, I probably category it as something else because I have orange under it. Oh, just take the washi tape off, get rid of this, okay. So I watched some videos of people coloring in these books and I was so inspired. But I was watching them color um, and not really focusing on the actual illustrations and they're not my style as far as coloring goes. Like I don't find fun in coloring images like this. Um, not images, I don't, the style. I don't enjoy this kind of style to color. I think I like to watch it be colored. And I did start coloring, there's two pages in here. Um, so this one is kind of used, um, I started to color this page and I'm pretty sure I had started something else in here. 
and I didn't like the way it came out at all and I kind of just abandoned it and I just want to show you guys. I don't know, I can't find it now, but I'm pretty sure there's another page whip. There's like another whip started in here somewhere. Yeah, kind of not my thing. Nice book, good paper. Um, Single-sided, you can, I mean, it, does, it tells you a little bit here what it is, um, but you can use your markers. It's more like anime. It, you got this like jacket, you can see, you get like, the paper and then it's like a jacket. It's a really nice book, just not for me. I like the idea of it more than I actually like it, and I'm just going to be unhauling it because I know I'm not going to color in it. There are some things I know I will not color in. Another book I really thought I would be coloring in um, is The Green Witches by Amy Sasari. I do like her books. I do like this. This is more of like a coloring book of shadows. I don't want it. It's like, you know, your herbal things. It tells you like what the flower is, what the element is, and what it does. And it's just tiny drawings like this. And I thought that would be really fun to just color and read up a little bit on like about the plant, you know, and how, you know, what people used it for. I mean, it's not just like witchy, you know, or anything like that. Um, these are things that people, you know, magical properties, how it's used in the kitchen, you know, stuff like that. Um, but I'm not coloring in it. So I will be unhauling it and it has never been colored in. I just removed a marker of a page that I did want to color in. Um, yeah. So I will be unhauling this book, even though I do really enjoy her thing, her books. It's just not going to work. All right. So now we're diving into some foreign books. I did not translate. A lot of you people have seen this and it is unfortunate. These books do cost a little bit, but... I'm not coloring in it. Um, if you're not familiar with this book, I'm sorry, I did not translate it, but I will tell you that it is a very nice book. It's got thick paper, and basically you're getting the color image here, and then you can give you your inspiration, which I happen to enjoy, because sometimes I don't really know how to tackle these kind of pages in these books, because they're kind of just drawn so differently. Um, and I like the inspiration. However, I am not coloring in it. I colored Goldilocks. And I didn't have fun. So, I don't know. It felt like a, a, a chore to me to do. Um, I didn't, I don't know. I'd rather watch somebody coloring something on YouTube than, I don't know. I just didn't have fun coloring it. So, and I don't know if I did anything else. So it's like basically towels you might be familiar of, like the Prince and the Pauper. I don't, A Dog of Flanders, I never heard of. Le, okay, Beauty and the Beast. So I guess it's fairy towels. Aladdin's Wonderful Lamp. Anne of Green Gables, Pinocchio, Pinocchio, The Nutcracker and the Mouse King. All right, so it's a really nice book. Shinika Wiccan. Snow White, I guess that is. I, mean, I don't even know what I just said. Romeo and Juliet. Wizard of Oz. So, why it's a beautiful book that I would love to say I would like to keep on my shelf. The truth be told, this is a type of book that should be colored in. So, it is going in my used pile, but I am un unhauling it. Another one that is used, this is the... Econico Coloring Book Animal Parade. I loved this book when I saw it. I was super excited. Um, and I purchased it. Really good paper. We've got little postcards in the back. But all the ink is purple. Which is not a big deal at all. Or blue. Very cute book. 
Sorry for the shadow. It's hard for me to get both into frame. I did color this page here. I think I might have had some pastels. So that's why I have this wax paper to protect the other page. It is a really cute book. I do actually like it, but I'm not coloring in it. So. This one is going to be unstashed. Why is that leaking? Okay, and this is another one. Again, I did not translate. I did color a page in this one as well. I really like this book. Um, but I'm not coloring in it, and I'm not going to color in it. I'd rather start tackling my eerie books next year. Um, that's where my focus is, and so I, you'd see I started coloring that. I never even finished. I just didn't want to. Oh, so precious, but I'm not coloring it. I really like that. I'm not coloring it. Constellation Girls. So that was like Leo, like, you yeah, know, really cute, really, really cute book. Victorian Fantasy Collection, Kirimori, Kirimori comic book. Here we go. That's the book. So. That will be. This book is a little hard to find now. So this book would probably be in a giveaway if my family or whoever, you know, those I reached out to do not want it. Um, this is Animal Adventures. It's a coloring book by Nicole Gustafsson. Um, and it's adorable. I'm not coloring in it. And I think because it is a little bit hard to find, I believe someone should be coloring in it. And I did color a page or start to color a page, but that is the only page that I colored. Yeah, so I will be unstashing that book. Uh, here we have another one of those weird fantasies. This one is by illustrations by Jeff Casely, Larry Elmore, Alana, Nutson and Mark Nelson. This is Other Worlds, Icons of Fantasy. I like that there's different illustrators in here. For the most part, it's single-sided. Every now and then you get something like this. But I don't know. These pages just don't appeal to me. Oops. So the illustrators are very, very good. Just not my thing. Yeah. So that will be going again, untouched. All right, this one. I know, Nicholas Chandrawinata? Chandrawinata? I don't know. Here. We all know this one. So I did color a page in this book and I ripped it out. I took it out um, because I liked how it came out. Sorry, excuse me. This is Fantasia. And I just really... I need to start focusing on my Kirby Rosanna's books. And I'm not going to give this book love anytime soon. See, I even wanted to color this page. Take off the thing. So I feel that perhaps somebody else could better utilize this book. And a lot of these items are in... Kirby Rosine's book, the concept of them, and I would just prefer to color his books. I mean, I could tell you I love this, but 
Let's just take this time. Yeah, there was a pirate and that was the page I took. So this book, even though it doesn't have any colorings in it, it's used because I did take a page out. I am getting rid of my Coco Wilds Find Your Aesthetic. I'm a huge Coco Wild fan, um, but I don't particularly care for this book. Um, I actually started coloring this page back in the day. I think like when the book first, first came out. Um, I don't know. There's other books of Coco Wild I like better. So I think I would prefer that. I mean, I like it because I like to images where I can have fun with them. I can do different kinds of hair. And I don't know. That's what appealed you know, to me, the, the, the whimsical fun of this book, but I don't want it anymore. So. And I have a bunch of Coco Wild books, and only two of them are being unhauled, so, you know. So, that one is going. The other one that's going is Furry Life. I kind of thought it was going to be something different than it was when I purchased it. Um, and then I was like, oh, this is really cute. And I can do this with it. And I can do that with it. And the reality is I don't want to do anything with it. So. Excuse me, I have hiccups. Um, yeah. This is actually a nice printed quality. The black side is actually quite nice. There's no like lines or anything. And it is untouched. So that will be going in untouched pile. Here we have Mystical Mermaids Adult Coloring Book. Who is this by? So I came across this. I don't remember how I found it or where I saw it. I must have seen it. I don't know. Maybe I was looking for a mermaid book. Not sure. Um, but I don't like it. I think I went in blind with it, and I'm not really keen on these images. They're not my style to color. They're interesting. But overall, eh, I don't like it. I don't think I ever really liked it. I thought maybe I can get myself to like it and saw like possibilities of how I would color and what I would color, but Boom, gone. Don't want it. Uh, another one that I do not want is Dream Girl Alluring Portraits. This is by um, Lindell Art. Um, this is the hardcover book. It is book four of four. There are not a lot of pages in this book. I did color one page. It's hardcover. Colored that page. And there's doubles. There's not a lot of pages and it's doubles. That one. I colored that one one year. Uh, 2022. Wow, 2022. I would not have guessed that. I would have thought 21. Yeah. So. This is used for the most part, but you do get another copy of that image. So... Yeah, I kind of get a full book. So, yeah. Uh, we have another Chet Minton here. Oh, my goodness. I'm getting hot now. Okay. We have another Chet Minton. This one is Beyond the Garden. Gnomes. His gnomes are quite adorable. But, yeah. That one's really cute. Untouched. Oh, dedicated to Zuzu. Makes me like him even more. She was a good girl. She was the best girl. <gasps> oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Wait, so I'm going to unstash this book. Sorry, Chet. Um, another book is The Book of Beasts. Color and Discover. I was like, yes, this is a great book. Um, it's like one of those story coloring books. Um hardcover so you get like earth right and you're gonna get like a little story about it and you're gonna get this huge page here and you're gonna get the werewolf the troll the jackalope 
Oh gosh, I don't know. Now I'm having second thoughts on this one. I don't know now about this one. I thought it was something a little different when I pulled it off my shelf to unstarch. I mean, I have not colored in this book, but I'm thinking I can do color logs with these little guys. Eh, I don't know. All right, this one I might not be unholing. This one I might be hoarding a little bit longer. To be determined. To be determined. I was envisioning something different. I mean, it shows you I haven't pulled this off my shelf in forever. That I was thinking it was a totally different book. So I'm going to hold on to this. For now. For now. We'll see. All right. All right, guys. Don't come at me for this one. I'm getting rid of it. The 20 Postcard Enchanted Forest book by Johanna Basford. Now, I was like all into postcard books. I have some Hannah Carlson books, postcard books. And I was like, oh, yay, postcard books. So little. I'm going to color in them. Yay, yay, yay. And nope. Didn't color in them. And I prefer the bigger one. And to be honest... I prefer her recent books over her earlier books. World of Wonder, Small Victories, um, World of Flowers, maybe? I don't know. Her, her recent ones released in the past year or so, two years. I'm not into her earlier works. They're too zen doodly for me. Um, so this is the postcard book. Like, I'm not into this. Like, I don't enjoy coloring these things. Now, I am a huge Hannah Passwork fan. I, I think she's great. She's adorable. And I love her artwork. Like, I think she's great. It's just not my style. So I don't gravitate towards her earlier stuff anymore. And I don't know. This is an untouched postcard book. Now, did I take a page out of here in the past? I don't really know. Um, I might have with an intention to color. I'm sorry, I wasn't even in frame. Or to send um, to someone, and I never did. But whatever is here is untouched. And then the last one of this particular stash is by Francois um, Gautier. Um, it is Dark Art Supernatural Sinister Coloring Book. I'm all into this kind of stuff. Um, but I went into this blind. And I don't particularly care for how the images are drawn. I don't particularly care to color images drawn like this. That's what I should be saying. Because it is a fine, he is a fine illustrator. Um, I do not enjoy coloring images like this. Drawn in this fashion. Yeah, so. I believe this is untouched. See, I'm, like, when Halloween rolls around, like, werewolves are, like, my favorite kind of thing. But I did not touch that. Yeah. So, I'm sorry, but this one is going to be going as well. So, that is my collection of books that I am unhauling part one. I still have to go through some more coloring books and a few more supplies. Um... Yeah, so I have a pile. I'm going to be keeping that a pile of used and a pile of untouched. And then, like I said, um, hit the bell button so you can see my other on-haul videos. Um, and then when I do post my giveaway, you guys will be able to see that as well. I'm almost hit at 1,000 subscribers. I'm hoping to hit 1,000 um, soon because um, that would be a giveaway too. So anyway, please remember to like and subscribe as it helps out my channel. Um, if you have any questions about any of these books or you'd like to see a full flip through, please just pop it in the comments. I'd be happy to do it for you. These books will be around for another month or so. Um, but that's pretty much about it. If you are viewing this video anytime after January 2024, these books are gone. But you can probably still locate most of them on Amazon. Um, the Korean books uh, and foreign books and um, Japanese books I purchased off of Etsy. If there's one that you particularly liked, 
um, let me know and I could always see if I can still find it for you in the shop I was purchased at. Um, that will, you know, be ongoing, but the books itself um, for any particular or possible giveaway probably will not be available after January 2024. Thank you all so very much. Um, I hope you have a wonderful hol holiday, um, whichever holiday you are celebrating as it is the holiday season. And uh, thanks again, guys. I appreciate you spending time with me today. Have a great day.